What's going on everybody, Fast Action Blades here. I got this M-Tech USA knife that I borrowed from a friend. He has allowed me to remove the current wrap from the handle, which is the factory wrap, and replace it with a paracord wrap. Normally, the wrap jobs that come on these cheaper end knives, usually the wrap is pretty crappy, so chances are this will just slide off, you know, You'll get to using the knife, and the wrap job will literally just slide right off the off the handle. So, as you can see there, it did not take me very long to get this undone. And if I was th if I were throwing this knife, this would be a serious pain in the butt, and it would come loose on me and drive me crazy. So I'm going to take this off and replace it with some 550 paracord. Here's a quick look at all the tools that we're going to be needing. We need the 550 paracord, a knife, a lighter, some tape, scissors, and a flathead screwdriver. Now, the tape, I don't really have the tape that I would have preferred. I would have preferred some duct tape. And the gloves, if I had some leather gloves, that probably would have been a little better, but uh, this is what I have to work with at the moment. All right, so the first order of business is the tape, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape the sharp edge of the blade to make sure that we don't cut ourselves while wrapping the handle. So now we're going to take our paracord, and typically for a regular size handle, you're going to need about 8 to 9 feet of paracord. If you have a little bit of extra, no worries, it's going to be snipped off anyway. Okay, now that we have the edge taped up there for safety, I have one glove on that I'm wearing, the glove or the hand that is going to be most likely to come in contact with the edge of the knife. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our paracord, run it down the handle. As you can see, I've got the end right here. And you just run it down about 6 to 8 inches or so past the end of the handle. And you're going to run the other end, the working end, up roughly inch, inch and a half past where you're going to be wrapping to. Just create a little loop and bring it back down the handle so you have something like this okay this is the working end so you're going to take the working end you just want to pinch down close to where you're going to wrap around the handle and you're going to wrap around and get that strand out of there wrap around and over itself and you're just going to continue to go around wrapping it nice and tight Alright, so I'm just going to continue wrapping that around the handle up until I get to the guard there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've wrapped up the handle. I'm up to the guard. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your loose strand and, well, I've got a lot of slack here, but that's okay because I use small pieces of paracord for uh, other projects. So anyway, what you're going to do is you take this working end and you put it through the loop. Okay, just keeping that straight. And what you're going to do is cut maybe about an inch, inch or so, maybe two inches past the loop there. So it looks something like that. So I've got this going through the loop. The handle's wrapped, we have that strand coming out the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to seal the end here. Alright. And now that we have that like that, what we're going to do is we're going to pull on this end down here, which tightens the loop. 
around the strand as you can see and we're going to pull that right underneath the wrap and it's quite tight to get under there as you can see the loop is trying to disappear inside so in this case if you're having trouble getting it under you just take a screwdriver and individually lift lift them over the wrap or the knot there the loop I should say and I wrapped it pretty pretty tight so it's pretty difficult to get this inside there and you want to be sure not to pull this all the way through because if you pull it all the way through your wrap job will completely come undone so this is what we have now it's been pulled down inside inside the wrap and like I said you don't want to pull too much or else you're gonna completely undo the whole thing and just have to rewrap everything now to finish it off we're gonna cut this piece close to the beginning of the wrap just like so try and heat that without burning the rest of the wrap there get that nice and heated up and we take our knife and push it in and there we have our custom wrap only takes a few minutes to do feels nice and solid doesn't feel like it's going anywhere much nicer good grip thanks for watching everyone and you have a great day